Hello, everyone. I am not in my office today. I'm in my living room. So, because they are doing construction right outside of my office. Um, so, I'm going to do, what is the, what is he thinking? What is he feeling? What's his next actions? Okay, I've been shuffling the cards. We'll cut them on here. So, um, those of you waiting on private readings, I'll be doing those today. I, I know there's been a delay. Oh. Yeah, they're like jackhammering. Um, and so my private readings will be open for another couple weeks. And romantic feelings. We're going to keep that. Um, and then I will be out of the country for a while. So if you want a reading in July or August, uh, get in line for that now. That's what I would say. Because I do have a lot of them to do. But we're going to focus and get them done here. Okay, so let's do thoughts, feelings and next actions. This is really far up here. And then what the relationship will be. Look at this card. I think this card has come out. This card's come out a lot. This card has come out in like every collective reading I've done for I want to say like two weeks. I'm I'm not kidding. It's very intense. They, so many songs remind me of you. Now is not the right time. I feel so much regret. Will it ever be the right time? We're not sure. All right, we have playfulness. Retreat and honeymoon. I am hearing that they listen to a lot of music. Healing Heart, The Chaser, Twin Flames, Kisses, Keys on a Ring. Um, they listen to a lot of music and think about you. Angel balance, caring connections, sword personal healing. The overall energy I'm getting from this card so far is that they're really trying to pull their energy back, but they're Constantly being reminded of you. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your car. I listened to music and think how it was. I couldn't say it, but I felt a lot of the same things you do. So the number seven may be important to you. Five of Pentacles. These are their thoughts. The star in reverse. Romantic feelings. So I have a feeling from these cards... I want to come back home to you where you're where I belong. This could be the one. Love. Angel of love. Ho pono pono. Interesting. Wow, these cards are really strong in their thoughts. So in their thoughts, they really, really think you two are so connected. I mean, they see you as the one. They see you as home. They see you as having their heart in, in your hand. Like, look at these two couples and they're surrounded by angels. And I mean, look, it's these two women are holding the heart in their hands. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. 
something though has happened. I feel like they, okay, they do feel abandoned. And this is about, you know, this key and this lock, right? I also feel like somebody said something to them. Look at, it's, oh, it's 17. Um, someone said something to them about you that made them lose hope. That's the message that's coming through because their thoughts are your, were perfectly made for them. And yet they feel alone and a loss of hope. And I get the feeling like they feel shut out. You know, anyone that's been on the twin flame journey is not really going to feel and understand it. It's not really going to feel sad for the DM because they understand like the DM is the mirror, but so they don't, the DM doesn't have much control over what goes on. Um, even though it appears sometimes that they do, it's really, if you look and you excavate, that's what they're giving me. They're showing me like a little archeologist, like put on your archeologist outfit and go digging because they're just showing you that you don't believe that he loves you or you're lovable or this could be the one. Um, the Ho'oponopono prayer, I always am afraid I'm going to forget it. It's like, thank you. I love you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. And um, there's a doctor in Hawaii who reportedly cured um, his mental illness patients by holding like their image and their problems in his mind and, and reciting the Ho'oponopono prayer. So if that's something that calls to you, explore that. I really love to use it when I'm in a large, like public space. Um, and I can feel a lot of energy coming at me that I don't necessarily want to take on. Right. I will like protect myself and then I will use the prayer and it's just a way to focus your energy in a higher vibration not so much consciously right so let's look at their feelings <sighs> again this mixed energy seven of pentacles with queen of wands you're so different than what I'm used to but I like it finances and career so we have the runner first chakra Prayer is always heard. So you had Ho'oponopono prayer and then prayer is always heard. I very much feel like they're hearing you. I feel like the masculines are hearing more right now because I feel like they're balancing their divine feminines, which may be this energy right here. You know, a lot of unhealed divine masculines are in the... Queen of Wands, King of Wands reversed energy, and that's not a bad energy. I mean, all of the queens are a fantastic energy, but sometimes the Queen of Wands, you know, you see all the candles around her. If she's not like acknowledging her light, she's going to need to take light from many different people, right? To like use it and I feel like they are exploring their manipulative feminine energy I know that sounds weird but I do feel like the feminine is exploring their masculine energies if you're a little more like farther along on the journey I think you're probably exploring your manipulative masculine energy because that shadow has to be integrated and that's really what this is right here it's like how do I 
get what I want at any cost, right? I can use my emotions and my ability to move energy to give people what they want so I can build my legacy that I want. And this is a self-worth issue here that I feel like has gone on for a very, very long time. That there's a reflection of what am I worth and you trying to find your worth in someone else's validation and them doing the same thing, right? That's the karmic loop. And when we become enlightened, we understand that our worth comes from ourself. And if you have been on that particular journey, like if the self-worth discovery, I think that is probably triggering your masculine a bit because you then you glow up a ton in your energy field. It's not like, I'm not saying, oh, you have a glow up, but you certainly could, but they sense it immediately, like when you don't need that validation anymore, when you stop asking like, why aren't they interested in me and you start being interested in you, that is kind of how you turn the tides. And that's kind of what's, it's it's interesting. It's like I teach manifestation also and um, <clears throat> it always comes through kind of simultaneously, like the message that is, for manifestation and the divine feminine message is always kind of linked. So let's see what are their next actions. Oh man, look at that. King of Wands, Queen of Swords. So he has a salamander on his shirt, which is, you know, sacred knowledge in... Oh, I wish I brought my drink. I put it in my office and then I decided to move out here. Um, in the occult, or in the tarot, sacred knowledge. Um, just getting what I'm coming through here. I want to be with you. Free yourself. Passion. Angel strength. I wrote a few a song. Yeah, there's a lot about music here. <coughs> He's, um, like my throat just like closed up. Which happens a lot of the time when we get to the part about what actions will they actually take. I mean, I feel like he's trying to suppress his emotions, but again, we have the lion and we have Venus retrograde beginning. Venus and Mars, which are very much these cards right here, right? Mars being Aries and Venus being Libra. Um, Venus and Mars are in Leo right now and there's a big kind of masculine feminine balance of like freeing yourself of false, they're saying idols, but false things that you've like kind of pledged allegiance to. This is the weirdest message. Um, like ideas and structures, businesses, um, entities, like they're kind of giving me schools or relationship structures that you've kind of made your vow to. Like they're showing me the Hierophant card. Um, they really kind of want you to take back your personal power. And in that taking back of your power, your message to the world kind of changes. I don't, not everybody's going to resonate with this because this is a very high level message here. Um, but it's like you ascending into a queen of swords status will bring him up into his king of wands status. 
and right now you kind of appear to be in queen of wands or reverse status and I explained that already but I think you're getting ready to progress to be like they're saying like not to be at the whim kind of of your passions but to kind of be like more of the director and captain of your ship and it, they're just pointing out here that she has water behind her um there also was this card here with the no it's not that one there was the two of wands reversed here oh the devil's under that it's very much like you may have held back from a, for a very long time thinking something will change for me and now the what's going on is like you're looking out into the world and thinking well what can i change and this bird they keep showing me the bird and the red flag and whatever this is i am always drawn to the little red disc in this little cage down here um it's like I feel like you're ready to speak your truth. You're coming into this ability to speak your own truth in a way that maybe you haven't ever done before. And I think for the last like two weeks, there's been a lot. I've done like this series of energy clearings on my Instagram subscription. And part of what we really had to clear was that we grew up being told not to express our truth or that our truth wasn't important or valid or worthy or our truth was weird or not acceptable so we had to like push parts of ourselves down and not express them right and that gets trapped in the body and that creates all sorts of issues when we when we have a subconscious belief that our viewpoint and our thoughts aren't worthy especially on the twin flame journey because there's so much judgment around it what people don't understand and a lot of the times you two have a difference that people have judgment around um and don't understand and they think you know it just reinforces this feeling that you doubt yourself okay that's what they're going with a lot of there's a lot of self-doubt that you're overcoming and in you overcoming your self-doubt he overcomes his doubt about you and feels much more empowered throughout this i think this is happening over the month of july is that there is a lot more trust built with the universe that you are a very powerful creator who moves energy through form, right? That's what manifesting is. And you do that by conversing energetically with the universe, which is what prayer is, or your form of God, whatever it is that you call source or whatever you believe in if you are an atheist yourself and um you know the wands suit a lot of tarot readers love to make it all about physical pleasure but it is the car it is the suit of spirit it is a very spiritual energy right I mean, ultimately, we are created through spirit. Um, you know, that's our energy. We are animated by spirit. And so, oh, okay. Let us look. This is a great, oh, look at how interesting. So King of Swords reversed came up. The Fool. Four of Cups. What's going to happen in the near future? He's going to stop overthinking and he's going to want to tell you about the, the way that he 
neglected, was bored, disinterested, didn't understand your value, and now he does. Um, I'm sorry for lying to you. I want to follow my heart. No one makes me feel like you do. This is very much an illumination to me. Very much um, cards of... Like, the Four of Cups here is really acting very much like a hanged man energy to me. Um, it's like he woke up to his feelings and instead of running away from them he faced them so the religious factors is always that energy i'm talking about where there's a difference between you new love and passion and we have passion in reverse twice here it's been a big deal that you two have not been able to be passionate in each other's lives right like that energy is missing and he's looked for that in new people, and he hasn't been able to find it. Healthy choices, not today, abundance. It's like he is choosing to go towards this abundance, right? The seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles. There, I think for a very long time, he has been in a very negative mindset. And something has dawned on him that like what he plants grows. So, you know, you can plant trash and trash will grow or you can plant wealth thoughts and wealth will grow, right? And some of that, this is Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Like he's really seeing you as the full picture, but he doesn't think that you, and this is like high priestess energy, he doesn't think that you Someone of the, your caliber. I'm sure you're sick of hearing this. Um, look, that's crazy. Um, God, tarot is so, it astounds me every single day. Um, I guess it's my intuition. I don't know. He doesn't think someone of your caliber will really be interested in him. And that's about self-doubt, right? And you, that's the kind of mirror that you see in your twin flame. They you it's like you try to talk to this to, about this to someone else and they're like what in the heck do you see in this person because they can't see what you see right they don't feel what you feel they don't know what you know and that electricity is not there um it's not just like a regular like oh this person is interesting or i'm kind of i kind of like this person it's like this it's like this Physical, mental, emotional, psychic, all chakras connected, everything switched on to the fullest degree. And they don't understand it, right? So he's finally, I feel like, really understanding that this isn't some spell, some voodoo, some you know, weird situation, which I do think there was probably, you know, some judgment up here that he, he dealt with about why are you really even hung up on this person? They're not that great, right? The same thing as you. But anyway, so I was just talking about rich, rich thoughts grow money, right? He's really understanding his um, magical ability to shape the physical reality. Romeo, stop. Um, this is Virgo energy. I do think it's going to take up to Virgo season to really fully integrate what I'm saying. I do think from what I'm seeing here that you will get some birds before land, right? That's what they're saying. That's the signs that change is coming. So the magician is boundless, formless, pure potential, infinite, free-flowing. Magic is the source of infinite love and matter. So just this recognition that you can create anything that you want. Um, he is fully embracing that, I see. And I think that comes from you working through this Queen of Wands reverse energy, right? Um really figuring out like, why are you jealous? Why are you 
thinking, you know, he should love you when you don't fully love you. And this is like not the things that people like, you know, twin flames want to hear because we hear them a lot and until we're actually ready to face them, they just sound like noise. Um, but then when you face them, everything changes and everything. So I keep bringing you the message that spirit gives to me in hopes that it will help you. So that is that. That's the message I have for you today. Um, just know, like, he is holding back a tremendous amount of passion. And don't doubt that. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.